How to Create a Stripe Account. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to create your very own Stripe account in the most simple and straightforward way possible. Whether you're planning to sell a digital product, manage client payments, or launch a full-fledged online business, Stripe can handle it all. Now, if you're totally new to Stripe, first let me just explain real quick what it actually is. Stripe is basically an online payment processing platform that allows individuals and businesses to accept payments over the internet. It's super flexible and works with a ton of different tools and platforms. Whether you're building a website, running a blog, using apps like Shopify or WordPress, or just want to send invoices, Stripe makes it really easy to get paid. What's great is that it also works globally, which means you can send or receive payments from pretty much anywhere in the world. It even offers extra tools like billing features, subscription management, invoicing, and more advanced features like banking as a service, which is perfect for fintech projects. All right, so let's dive in and get started. Open your browser and head over to stripe.com. Once you're on the homepage, look towards the top right corner and click on the sign in button. Now, obviously, if you don't already have an account, you'll want to click on create account instead. Now you're on the sign up page. Here, Stripe asks you to enter a few basic things. Start with your email address, something you check often because you'll need to verify it later. Then type in your full name. Once you've done that, go ahead and create a secure password. Make sure it's strong enough. Mix in some uppercase letters, numbers, and maybe a special character or two, just to be safe. And after that, select the country you're in. This is important because Stripe customizes some features based on your region. After you've filled everything out, hit the Create Account button. All right, now that your account is created, Stripe is going to ask you to verify your email. You'll need to go to your email inbox. Look for a message from Stripe. Open that up and click the link that says Verify Email. Once you click it, Stripe will take you right back to your dashboard. Now the cool part starts. Stripe gives you the option to either explore its features first or go straight to setting up your business information. I recommend going ahead and completing the setup so you can start accepting payments right away. So go ahead and click Add Business Info. Stripe will now ask you a few basic questions. You'll start by provide your business details like your legal name, phone number, what kind of services or products you offer, and your public-facing information like what name will show up on your customer's bank statements. Now you're officially inside your Stripe dashboard. It's super clean and pretty easy to navigate. On the top left, you'll see your business name. And if you ever want to create separate accounts for different businesses, you can totally do that. Just click Create Account and start fresh for a new one. Let's take a look at some of the important stuff inside the dashboard. First, you've got the Settings tab. From there, you can adjust account preferences, view personal info, and configure your product settings. Stripe gives you the option to customize a lot, how your invoices look, what your email receipts say, how you want to format your subscription plans. It's all in there. You can even control things like invoice numbering, the default footer text, the company logo, and other small details that give your brand a more professional touch. Now let's go back to the home section. Here, you'll see a general overview of your business. If you've already started making sales, you'll see your payments, pending balances, and some charts to help you keep track of everything. Under the payments section, you can start setting up ways to accept money. This is where things get really interesting. Stripe lets you create payment links, checkout pages, invoices, and even embed buttons right on your website. Let's say you're selling something like an ebook or maybe an online course. You can use Stripe to generate a simple checkout link without needing a full-blown e-commerce store. To do that, just go into the Payments area. Click on Create a Payment Link. Stripe will ask you what product or service you're selling. So you'll give your product a name, like let's call it Knowledge eBook. And then set the price. Let's say it's $10. Click Add Product, Set the Price, and you're good to go. Now, Stripe will ask if you want to allow customers to choose quantities, add promo codes, or enter their shipping info if it's a physical product. You can also set whether this is a one-time purchase or a recurring subscription. Once you're done, click on Create Link. And you've got a payment link ready to go. 
You can share this link in your emails, add it to your blog, or even post it on social media. Stripe also gives you the option to generate a QR code or embed a buy button directly into your site. Now, if you're running a service-based business and need to send out invoices, Stripe has that covered too. You can go into the billing section and send out a professional-looking invoice. Just add the customer's name and then email. List the services or products, set the due date, and now Stripe handles the rest. The customer gets the invoice, they click the payment link, and the money comes straight into your Stripe account. And if you're into subscriptions, say you're running a membership or a coaching program, Stripe makes it easy to set up recurring billing plans. You can customize the frequency, set trial periods, and even manage cancellations and renewals. Let's say you want more control over how people interact with your payment system. Stripe lets you build full custom checkout pages too. If you know some basic coding or have a developer helping you, you can fully design your checkout flow using Stripe elements. Now let's talk about your balance. Stripe will automatically deposit funds into your connected bank account based on your payout schedule. You can change this schedule in the settings. Some people prefer weekly payouts, others go with daily. You'll also be able to track any pending payouts and transactions right from the Balances tab. Go to the Customers tab. Under Customers, you'll find a list of all the people who've paid you. You can add customers manually if you want to keep a record, or just let Stripe populate this list automatically. You can also export your customer list if you need to do follow-up emails, run retargeting campaigns, or anything like that. And finally, Stripe has a ton of analytics and reports to help you make sense of everything. Simply go to the Revenue tab. Here you can track revenue trends, product performance, failed payments, subscription churn, and more. And that's pretty much it. You now know how to create a Stripe account, set it up, and start accepting payments, whether it's for products, services, or subscriptions. Stripe is a super powerful tool, and once you get the hang of it, it can really take your business to the next level. So if you found this video helpful, go ahead and drop a like, maybe leave a comment if you have questions. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more easy tutorials just like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.